Hey guys, it's me Terabyte and I'm back with a new video for you guys. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about some really cool uh, utilities and tools that are available on the open source platforms which can be really helpful for subdomain enumeration. Subdomain enumeration is a very important part of the reconnaissance when we are doing web application testing or bug hunting. So this video will give you insight on five different tools that you can use for subdomain enumeration right to gather more intel about subdomains so yeah let's start off with a new uh, video and uh, let's start with our first two so I have the list over here you can see the first one is AMAS, Subroot, NocPy, uh, DNS Recon and our, our very own sublister let's start off with AMAS AMAS is a really great tool for collecting intel on a particular subdomain alright on a particular domain in specific it can collect a lot of information uh, to install it it's simple apt get install amass not a big deal I have it pre-installed to the newest version I don't need to do it but just for the sake of demo uh, amass enumerate hyphen d google.com so I'm limiting it to enumerate subdomains as of now but with amass you can do a lot of stuff you can let's say uh, you can enumerate and collect intel about ASN IDs right which are autonomous system IDs you can collect information from the who is here what I'm doing is I am enumerating uh, subdomains from different uh, search engines for google.com you can see it takes time but it collects very specific and appropriate information um, you can see like it's getting from almost all over the internet and it's getting some subdomains it sometimes takes time takes different kind of trials depending on the kind of uh, so domain you're dealing with and when I end it you will see I'm stopping in between because there's gonna be a lot of them when I end it control C is the command okay, it's taking time to end as well no problem so it will give you a list basically it gives you the ASN ID over here you can see that right tells you like who owns it Google's owns it very obviously Google LLC uh, they were total uh, 2053 APIs, uh, 166 DNX records. You will see like there is a complete list of subdomains and their IP addresses and the number of uh, domains are there in that particular IP address. So that is the best part. I mean, it gives you very detailed information. Uh, there can be a complete different video on AMAS someday, but for now I'm limiting it to uh, subdomain enumeration. I maybe make a video on AMAS if you want it you just put that in the comments right uh, AMAS is a great tool for everybody who is uh, into uh, finding more intel on a particular domain or DNS record and stuff like that next we have is uh, this great tool called Subroot I have it installed but you can actually get that from github it's very simple you just have to get github for Subroot there it is it's a DNS Meta Query Spider. Uh, that's a very cool name, though. Meta Query Spider, like, looks futuristic and techy. Uh, so I have it here. Um, let me just get my folder. There we go. I have the files here. Uh, so I'm gonna run this Python file. Python subroot right we just have to give the domain name let's say google.com and the best part is you can save it in a text file as well if I want to I'm just gonna save it in um, uh, nm subroot.txt so whatever the subdomains I'm going to enumerate with this tool they will be automatically saved into an output file I need to give it hyphen o so it will just you know just save everything into the output file automatically um, I just gotta wait for it to start the scan for uh, subdomains here so exactly because you know like sometimes a target might have thousands if not thousands it may be hundreds of subdomains and it will take time and it will make a long list of it so it is better like you can you know directly save it into um, output file into an output file so let's see why is it taking time 
chicken. Python subroot. Okay, yeah, it's it started. I don't know why it took time. But anyway, it's working uh, and it is going to save everything which I'm scanning into an output file which will be with the name of nmsubroot.txt. I'm gonna stop it in between again because it's gonna be a long list for sure. And I will see here, uh, I have the txt file which when I open with nano, these are all the list, right? So it is just saving everything for me so I can refer it any point of time. So I don't need this now, I can clear the terminal. That's great, uh, that's a great thing about subroot that you can save it. NotPy is also a very good tool because with NotPy you can do comparisons. You see, like uh, I'll show you. Um, NotPy is also, uh, it's, it's like pre-installed for sure. Or maybe you can, if, if it is not pre-installed, you can simply install it by apt get install NotPy. Somebody, some people call it NotP for some reason, but it's fine. Uh, what's in the name? not by and then I can need to give just the name of the domain let's say I again go for google.com it will just start enumerating and this time it will be like showing like a tabular uh, details for that particular domain like it shows the status code that's the best part if it's 301 it's a redirection 404 not found uh, 200 will show that definitely the domain exists these are redirections because very obviously Google did have redirections for every single subdomain. Um, these are the type, like the DNS type. Uh, so the, you're also getting the record type of that domain and you're getting the domain name and the server. So yeah, it just gives you like a tabular information for every domain. So that's the speciality for NotPy. So this way you can see like everything in a, in a tabulated form. So that's what I like about it, about NotPy. DNS Recon is an amazing tool. Okay, DNS Recon is a tool which can actually give you a lot of intel, right? A lot of details. Let's just first see like how it works. Okay, uh, then I'll tell you what are the features. So I have it installed again. If you want, you can get that from GitHub. It's not a big deal. You just have to look for DNS Recon. have it. You'll uh, never forget up. Yeah, there it is. Dark operator. So how it works? It's pretty simple. I. So what you have to do is DNS reckon, right? And then you have to just put hyphen D. That is for the syntax for taking in a domain, and then just give any domain that you want. Google.com. Let's go with that. So DNS Recon, now it actually deals with a lot of stuff, okay? It works um, by checking all the NS records that are used for AXFR zone transfers, right? Um, AXFR is for asynchronous full request. These are used, to, these records are used for zone transfers. It will check for those as well. Additionally, it will also, uh, it can be very useful in DNS enumeration for almost all type of records if you talk about like, um, uh, MX record, SOA, NS record, TXT, SPF, right, and SRV records, right. Uh, SRV records. Interesting thing, okay, about DNS record is that if you are working with uh, Active Directories, SRV record is a service record which is used for um, domain controller locations, right. So SRV record c can be helpful in Active Directory elimination. So if you are working with an AD. I think DNS record is a DNS recon is a good tool that you can use for reconnaissance in an AD for particular domains and domain name servers. If you will see, it also try to check for the SRV records here, enumerating the SRV records for Google. So yeah, it got it. So this can be a really good tool because you don't need any additional script for that for scanning the SRV records. Also, you see like it just got the um, DNS record details for a particular domain. So yeah, that's how it works, and that's a special. That's a specialty about this particular tool, and I, that's what I like it. Um, when I was practicing about EDI, I got to know about it. Um, then we have our very own old school sublister, because why not? 
I don't know how many of uh, I, this was the first tool I ever used for it, uh, reconnaissance for a domain sublister because it's pretty easy. Um, I, I have an alternative as a web application called Virus Total. You can use Virus Total as well, but I prefer terminal tools for because why not? <laughs> so uh, sublister is also pre-installed. You can install it with apt get install if you need sublister, and then you give the hyphen d, and then you give the name of the domain that you want sublister hyphen d google.com. It will just give you the list of it. Um, it's pretty much somewhat the similar thing as subroot. I mean, these can be both alternatives because, uh, but the good part about sublister is that it checks for all the domains, especially it also checks on virus total as well. So it is checking basically on multiple uh, search engines. So that's that's good about it. Uh, that's a specialty about it, right? So yeah, I'm just waiting for it to complete. So this is, uh, these are some of the special ways, some real good tools, some top 5 tools that I feel that are great for subdomain animation. We saw that how we can uh, do uh, like a tabulated format with NotPy or maybe we can animate some SRV records or any other records with the help of DNS Recon. We learned that AMS is an amazing tool, okay? Uh, it can be used for great intel gathering for a particular domain or DNS record. So yeah, I hope uh, that this will help you to do more good reconnaissance in bug hunting and you might find some real good examples. Um, people who are actually into, uh, you know, zone transfers and those kind of vulnerabilities, these tools can be helpful. I don't know why Sublister is taking a long time, but definitely you can check that on your side. I'm not going to ruin this for the video. <laughs> right. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and thank you so much for the support. Um, so this video was about reconnaissance. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put more uh, videos on reconnaissance in specific with respect to bug hunting for bug hunters and pen testers for sure. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much. Do subscribe my channel if you like it. Do share it with people. Give out your suggestions in the comment section, whatever you need, whatever kind of new concepts that you're looking for. Um, go follow my social media accounts as well. Uh, and yes, join my community, um, bit.ly dot, bit.ly slash join this uh, BCL. You can join Bytesaber Labs for more um, community uh, gathering and community interaction. Uh, so see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Keep hacking, keep the scene alive. And it's me, Terabyte.